Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Rex Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer, we're going to do another one from Hill Farmstead Brewing. These guys are in Vermont. This is their uh, first and last things. And it's an IPA, guys. And I didn't see any ABV on the label. I guess they stopped doing that or, or never did it, I don't recall. But the, this is the second one that my beer brother Greg has sent me from this brewery and it doesn't have the ABV on it anywhere. Uh, I don't know, other than them wanting to use the label over and over and over since ABV, ABV can change from batch to batch. That's the only thing I could think of. But if it was sitting on the shelf here and it didn't have the ABV on it, I'd put it right back up on the shelf or wouldn't even pick it up. Uh, so, even though they make some outstanding beers. But I want to know what the ABV is. Give me the can on date and the ABV and I'll buy your beer. I mean, that's pretty simple. Uh, that's what it is there, so I mean, I'm not going to take that chance, especially if it doesn't have a date. But these guys have been dating their stuff. This one says it was canned on 07 July 7th, so not quite a month old, close but not quite. Uh, and he writes on this one, uh, he picked it up at the brewery. He says it's another winner, but it's hard to go wrong with Hill Farms. I agreed. I agree there. They make some really tough stuff. I don't understand. Uh, yes, I do. Like I said, they probably want to use this label over and over and over, and that's why they don't put the ABV on it. And uh, that's probably the bottom line. Anyway, uh, Beer Advocates is calling a New England style. Uh, Untapped is not, but looking at the pictures on Untapped, it looks like it is. Uh, it says here, a new IPA inspired by years of accumulated experience and expression of both past, present, and future, harmonizing some of our favorite hot varieties into a bright, balanced beer that showcases the beauty of a well-orchestrated chorus. Then it says 6.5% ABV here on Untapped also. So, evidently somebody's went to the website and got that information. Uh, but anyway, uh, it is what it is as far as the information that these breweries put on their uh, beers. Uh, we can huff and puff and stand on your head and burp jelly beans and they're probably going to make not one iota difference of what they're going to do. But anyway, I'm going to fuss about it anyway. <laughs> so, uh, we've gone over everything we need to go over. Uh, let's find out. Let's pop it open. Like I said, it's a 16 ounce, plain Jane silver can with a stick on wrap around the label. Very hazy coming out. Alright. Not quite two fingers of head, guys. It looks like orange juice. Uh, pretty cloudy, pretty hazy. A nice looking. IPA New England style. What do you think? To the notes we go. Yeah, very nice. The citrusy notes. Maybe a little bit of pine. Maybe a hint of some melon. It smells pretty good. It really has a really pleasant aroma. Like I said, these these guys at Hill Farm said. Make some really tasty stuff. Uh, I just wish they would put the ABV on their stuff. But, you know, when it's sent to me, you know, I'm not going to fuss too much. Uh, so, uh, Greg, once again, uh, thanks for picking this up and sending it to me because these, these guys at this brewery do some really nice stuff. Well, that man. Cheers. Cheers, Greg. Citrusy, orange, get some, some melon, 
maybe a little bit of mango, grapefruit. Very pleasant. Six point five percent alcohol is well hidden. Swirly swirl, backhand pour going in. Oops! Don't want it to run over. There we go. Got it all out of there. Anyway, let's run out of the fridge, guys. Let's go sip on it, let it warm up, and see what we end up with. All right, guys, I'm back. Very nice slicing of stuff on the glass. This is a well-made beer, guys. I mean, the Hill Farmstead makes some really tasty stuff. So uh, uh, if you're in that vicinity where you can go by and pick up something, uh, it's probably worth doing. Uh, I'm sure they make something that you will like. Uh, if you don't like this style, they probably make a whole lot of other different styles that you could pick something up. And you know it's going to be a a top-notch beer so very tasty beer on the chug very nice guys to me this is definitely an A beer and that's where I'm gonna put it 95 right in the center of the A category uh, beer advocate says 95 <laughs> we're in agreement for change uh, and over to Untap. Untapped has it at 4.25, and that's borderline A minus A scale. So uh, give it to benefit of the doubt. Say it's A's from everybody. So if you've had this one from Hill Farmstead, this is their of first and last things. Uh, and this has 8,000 ratings, so they've probably done this beer before. This is the 2021 edition, so if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.